Okay, my name is Peter Roman. I'm from uh, Saarbrücken, but I'm a um, computer science student in, from Trier. And uh, the program I am um, I'm showing you is uh, Metasapia, and that is the topic of my master's thesis. Um, okay, so which button is this? Okay, so just a quick overview of my presentation. Um, at first, I will give um, a motivation for why I um, uh, wrote Metasapia. Then I give an overview of the graphical user interface of Metasapia and um, show uh, um, an interesting uh, widget, new widget, which I designed for navigation. Then I will show how to create a music folder, so a folder type. And uh, then I'll give uh, uh, this show the status of the project and give a few future outlook. So um, there are a lot of type-specific um, um, file browsers um, ex in existence, uh, like FSpot or Rhythmbox, which uh, allow you to manage your either your uh, pictures or your music collection. Uh, they introduce extended uh, concepts like tagging, metadata, and fast searching. They have type-specific file actions, and they have appropriate views for the um, for the content. So, uh, pictures are shown as um, thumbnails, and um, music is shown as a list of files and that with uh, artists and um, song, and so forth. But these programs are only limited to their specific file type so images or music. And um, Metasapia makes tagging, metadata, and these features available for all file types. So it's an, uh, um, a hierarchic file browser with, um, ex with these extended concepts built in. So here you can see the um, graphical user interface. It is um, written in Ruby GNOME, and uh, the backend um, is a um, metadata m database uh, called Tracker. It, um, it, it's an indexing and searching engine with a, a database built in, so you can put your own metadata into uh, the database, which is then used for searching as well. Um, you can add flexible, yeah, flexible possibilities of, of making a, 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 a metadata search query. You have virtual folders, which you can define yourself. Um, it has folder typing, which I will explain later. And um, you can easily view and edit file metadata. Down here, you can add your comments and, and uh, tags and a rating and edit the other m metadata, like um, uh, like they are in built into the files as well. Um, there are uh, a set of user extensible um, actions, like for, for for example here the uh, this is an image file, so you have the rotate left, rotate right, print and and um, uh, a slideshow features, and. Um, there is a predictive folder tree for navigation on the left, which is a new widget which are designed for um, navigation. And um, yeah, I called it Metasapia because Metasapia and Sapia are uh, um, are called uh, cuttlefish in English. They are uh, in the same family as Nautilus, the gn the um, GNOME uh, file browser. And since um, Metasapia are, are able to uh, change their color to and um, adapt to their environment, I thought it was an, an interesting name because my user interface also adapts to the file types and folder types um, uh, 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 that are uh, currently shown. So the actions are adapted and the, um, the uh, search queries are also adapted to the shown file types. Um, so, oops, this was wrong button. Uh, so, in uh, Nautilus, the GNOME file browser, 
you have um, a few, you have lots of lot of widgets for navigation. You have a lot of me menus with important places, uh, the history here again in the back history, uh, a bookmarks menu with uh, um, bookmarks you can set yourself. Then you have uh, toolbars with here, again, a few important places. Then you have these breadcrumbs um, navigation where you can switch to parent directories. You have side, uh, sidebars, again, with the history, again, with important places and bookmarks. Here you have the, um, a tree representation of all uh, folders in your file system. So there are a lot of widgets for doing uh, the same, the same thing, but each in a different context. And what I have done is I combined these into one widget. So the goal was to show all places uh, I may want to go next in um, in one context. And I did that um, in a, uh, with a, a sparse tree, which uh, displays places from uh, these uh, uh, sets. So I have the current directory which is always shown uh, with its uh, parent directories. Then mount points, which are important. Then other important places like home, trash, desktop, which you always want to see. Then the tree is um, enriched with um, last visited places, so the history, and with places that I often visit from the current folder. So he, um, when I visit a folder, he um, he remembers from which folder I visited it, and uh, then um, that is stored in these folders. And the next time I visit the folder, I know exactly which folder I um, visited next from the current folder. And they, these are shown. And um, then if there's space left, because yeah, if, if you just start the program, there's no history, so then may there may be uh, uh, place left in the widget, then there are uh, places I often visit. Uh, here you can see a little animation where you um, um, uh, where you can see how the uh, the um, uh, the widget adapts to the uh, current directory. So uh, here I, I go into the directories for the first time, and then. Um, if now he goes to my home directory, and then the uh, one of the subdirectory is shown instantly because I went there after being in the home directory. Okay. Then next topic: creating folder types. Um, I added uh, the concept of folder types into my um, into Metasapia. A folder type consists of uh, a name, a MIME type, and an icon. Um, as a default view configuration, so for example, thumbnails or list or whatever. Um, then optionally some saved searches, which are also called virtual folders, um, each with their own view configuration. So you can uh, um, have the, um, the top 25 last used documents in a list. Then um, you have some folder actions like um, um, a slideshow in a in a picture folder. Um, then um, I you have also you can also add some uh, templates, folders or files which are shown in the uh, when the uh, when a folder with the with this type is shown. This is um, here you can see um, um, a music album. You have, or a music folder, here you have uh, saved searches like songs marked with party or 80s music. Uh, you have uh, a uh, uh, metadata search where I have an, uh, a search field added for artists. You have two actions, burn CD, play album. Um, and here you can, uh, you can have some properties, set some properties of the folder type. You can also sa say that the icon um, consists of uh, one of the uh, uh, pictures that are inside. So y if there is a cover.jpg in the folder, then that will be the, um, um, the folder icon. Um, 
you can also imagine another um, uh, other type folder types like a software project where you have an action for make uh, make install or configure but you can extend it quite easily um, the status of the project um, what does work you can browse the file system you have three configurable folder views you have the predictive navigation tree you can view edit metadata and can uh, do full text searching and build complex metadata queries you can not execute these queries at the moment because tracker tracker doesn't support um, sesam that's a search search language or a search interface and um, but that will be added in the coming month and uh, will work then um, the menu actions and toolbar actions uh, do not do anything at the moment, but I will add that um, in the coming weeks. Uh, opening files is also quite easy, but I haven't done that yet. And uh, the type manager is not, not quite ready. So it's really alpha state at the moment, but I guess I think it's um, there are interesting concepts and uh, um, yeah. Okay, for the future, I expect that um, file browsing, file management will um, um, leave the hierarchy uh, principle and will uh, go into more to uh, tag and search principle. Um, Apple is doing it, and I expect that uh, that is the, the the future. But I think uh, we have to um, learn these new features before. Um, um, before leaving the hierarchy-based um, file management approach. And so I think this is a, a good uh, way to, um, to bridge the gap um, between these two concepts. Uh, Metasavia can also serve as a, a GUI for the MetaTracker, or just Tracker um, uh, desktop search engine. It, uh, it exploits more uh, um, uh, features of the search engine. And uh, I hope that um, the community will help to extend uh, the type system with uh, useful folder types. Um, yeah. And uh, also, I could uh, imagine the um, predictive folder tree can can also be in interesting for other projects. Okay. Thanks for your attention. Um, if there are questions, there are. Three minutes left, so ask me or ask me later if it's uh, if you want to have a personal question. Yes. Pardon. Um, I expect it in to be useful in yeah, let's say a few weeks or a month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, it never shows scroll bars. So, in a normal tree uh, where you have the folder tree, you have al 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 uh, always have to scroll over, uh, and 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 you have you see a lot of folders which you do not want to uh, navigate to. And the predictive folder tree is a sparse tree, so it only shows um, trees that are uh, that that are in important or may be interesting. Yes. Another question? No? Okay, then, thank you for your attention.